In order to ensure optimum comfort and fit, it's essential to select the correct helmet size H1 or H2. The correct helmet size depends on the individual head circumference, measured in centimeters, head shape, longitudinal oval, round or transverse oval, haircut, hair length, and use of the helmet with breathing protection equipment. Depending on individual head circumference and head shape, the following helmet size selection is recommended. The HPS 7000H1 is used for head sizes of 50 to 53 cm, regardless of head shape. For size 50 to 51 cm, the additional pad is used. The HPS 7000H1 is also used for head sizes of 53.1 to 58 cm, regardless of head shape. For head sizes of 58.1 to 60 cm and a longitudinal oval head shape, the HPS 7000H1 is also used. Depending on hair length and haircut, the HPS 7000H2 may also be an option. The HPS 7000 H2 is used for head sizes of 59.1 to 60 cm and a round or transverse oval head shape. The HPS 7000 H2 is used for head sizes of 60.1 to 66 cm regardless of head shape. Individual fitting and wearing tests with and without breathing protection before final selection of the helmet size are important and essential. Pick up the helmet and widen the head carrier ring. To do so, press the adjusting wheel upwards and turn it clockwise. Put on the helmet. Check that the wearing height is correct. The wearing height is correctly set when the edge of the helmet visor is parallel to the upper half of your forehead. If necessary, adjust the Velcro straps by using the red tags on the comfort net inside the helmet. Loosen the Velcro of the chin strap. Close the chin strap. Now adjust the length of the chin strap and close the Velcro again. The chin strap should sit comfortably under the chin. To adjust the neck straps, take hold of the buckles at the rear. Adjust the length so that both neck straps are tied and the helmet sits upright. The helmet is properly upright when the lower edge of the helmet is parallel with the ground. Press the adjusting wheel upwards and turn it anti-clockwise until the head carrier ring sits firmly on your head. The helmet visor has three locking positions. Top, middle and bottom. To move the goggles up or down, use both goggle levers at the same time. Put on the flash hood.
and hang the mask around your neck. Widen the head carrier ring of the helmet and put it on. Press the adjusting wheel upwards and adjust the head carrier ring until the helmet is firmly in place. Put on the mask and insert the mask adapters into the mask adapter pocket. Use your fingers to adjust the flash hood to the right position. Make sure that the mask fits properly and is leak tight. Lower the visor and make sure that visibility is good. To switch on the helmet light, move your finger forwards along the comb of the helmet from the rear until you feel the helmet lamp buttons. Press both buttons simultaneously to turn on the helmet light. Press both buttons again to switch to dimmed mode. Press both buttons again to turn the light off. Loosen the straps of the mask. Put on the mask and pull the straps tight. Check that there are no leaks. Put on the flash hood and smooth it down. Widen the head carrier ring and put the helmet on. Close the chin strap and adjust the head carrier ring so that the helmet sits firmly. Lower the visor and make sure that visibility is good. To switch on the helmet light, move your finger forwards along the comb of the helmet from the rear until you feel the helmet lamp buttons. Press both buttons simultaneously to turn on the helmet light. Press both buttons again to switch to dimmed mode. Press both buttons again to turn the light off. After use, check the helmet shell, the paint, all attachments, the interior, the visor and goggles, the harness and the accessories according to the instructions for use.